Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Sonali, and if you guys are new, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. I've gotten so many requests to do a tutorial on how to use the one, the only Dyson Airwrap. So today we're doing that, and I'm going to go through pretty much all the attachments and show you guys what they all do. This thing is a beast. It does so much. It's like an all-in-one tool. It comes with a bunch of attachments if you get the Dyson Airwrap complete. The Dyson Airwrap is definitely pricey, especially if you get the whole complete set, but there is going reason because this is actually less damaging than a lot of heat tools. This tool curves the air to attract the hair onto the wand so that it's drying with air and not extreme heat. In this video I'm also going to show you guys the difference between the barrels that come with the air wrap kit. They're kind of like the regular size, just like the shorter versions. And there's actually a longer version that I prefer to use um, because my hair is a bit longer and I'll show you guys why I prefer to use that. So if you guys are interested in getting the most perfect volume and curls at home, keep watching. First step is brushing your hair. You wanna take your hair and brush through the ends first. And once that's all untangled, then you start going up a little bit more because if you start up here and then go down and something's tangled up in here, it might cause a little bit of breakage and you definitely don't want that. It's really important to remember to use heat protectant. I have two options for us today. This is a Moroccan oil one. It's just in a different bottle because I accidentally cracked like the top of it. So the spritz wasn't working, but honestly the spritz on this bottle is so good. Oh, did you see that? There we go. It is so good and it's like really diffuse. So if you have any like bottles that the spritz isn't that good, highly recommend this. It was on Amazon and super affordable. And then we have this one. This is the Kenro blow dry spray. I've been using this for quite a while. It is getting low, um, but I think we're gonna use this one today. So just spray it all throughout your hair evenly. It smells really good. Now we're just gonna brush that product through. As you can tell, my hair is still pretty wet from showering this morning. So I usually actually let it air dry quite a bit before I go in with the Dyson Airwrap curler thing. But since I don't have time to let it air dry today, I'm gonna just do like a rough dry really quick with both of these attachments. So this is like the actual blow dry attachment. And then this one is the brush, which I actually really like this. It makes drying your hair so much easier and you can like straighten it with this tool. So you just just put it in and kind of click it through where the notches are and then it'll lock for you and if you ever want to take an attachment out here on the back you just press it down and lift it up so it's super easy to get it off and on this is the front of the handle here's the on and off button right over here you can kind of increase the intensity um, of the blow dryer and then over here it gives you the option for hot or cold like i said i'm just going to do a rough dry and i'll probably switch halfway through with the brush i find that when i'm using the air wrap curler attachment i need to have like my roots pretty dry before i start to use it because it's kind of harder to dry the roots with the curler attachment, if that makes sense. And once you use it, you'll kind of see. And when the roots are drier, when you use that curler attachment, I definitely think that the curls last a little bit longer. Brushing my hair really quick with my regular brush, and then I'm gonna go in with the brush attachment. This tool is probably one of my favorite ones just because it's the easiest one. Literally all you have to do is glide through your hair and it dries it, it's amazing. But this attachment especially, I like to focus on these little parts where they get little like crinkly. I don't know how you describe it. My hair is kind of like a wavy straight natural, but like right in here and right under here is where they get a little bit crazy. So I'm just gonna focus on drying those and like straightening them out. I would say my hair is about 80% dry. You can still kind of see it's a little bit damp, especially on the ends, but for the most part in my roots, they're dry. Um, so now I'm just going to brush it out one more time and then create my part. So whatever part you usually do or whatever you want to do, I usually go for a middle part, as you can tell. I literally just use random objects with a point to get my middle part. From here, you're just gonna take your thumbs and separate the top of your hair from the bottom of your hair. And then we're just going to 
tie it or clip it. So this is what we're working with. And before we get started, I highly recommend to get some kind of clips to set the curls in because the first couple of times I tried the Dyson Airwrap, it was beautiful for literally like two or three hours and then it would just drop and fall very easily. And I realized it's because I wasn't setting my curls. So I will show you guys how to do that, but I recently got these ones on Amazon. I'm not sure if they will be great for setting your curls just because they're the ones that just like get your hair out of your face but I'm gonna use these and then I have like a whole baggie of um, random clips so I'll use those too I also wanted to show you guys the difference between the longer barrel and the normal barrel I wish that you could choose which one you want to like customize your Dyson Airwrap that would be so nice kind of like a camera like usually I will only buy like a camera body and get my own lenses but this one was the one that came in my Dyson Airwrap complete. And once I heard that there was even an option to get these longer barrels, I bought them so quickly because my hair has always been pretty long. And even when it was shorter, like up to here, these were game changers. The curls themselves aren't that different, to be honest. It's just easier to do it with this because you don't have to like bunch it all up on one little curler and sometimes it doesn't even fit so this one fits all my hair and is perfect so i'm going to show you guys a quick curl with this one just so you guys can see what it looks like on longer hair and then we'll get into finishing the whole head It really wasn't horrible, but the end was kind of falling off, so I just prefer the longer barrel. There are two techniques to using the Dyson Airwrap, and what I just did was what I used to do. So basically, you would take a piece of hair, and let's see which way this is going. Okay, you see these arrows right here? You always want them to be away from your face, so arrows pointing that way, away from my face. So. We'll get started on this piece and show you guys what I used to do. So I would wrap it around and then it would just kind of like, like attach to it. And then I would do this, go back in, out, and kind of like keep it on there in case my root isn't all the way dry. And then slide it off and then like kind of hold it in my hand and then there you go, that's a curl. I don't do this technique anymore, so I will show you guys what I do now. So, I actually flip it over and I use it like a wand, and I know a lot of people on TikTok, whenever they see this method, like they're like, what's the point of an air wrap? But the air wrap itself is using like a lot less heat than an actual like curling iron, so that is why like you still would want to use this air wrap. We're gonna take a piece of hair about this big. I usually take like, big sections just because I'm impatient um, but we're gonna wrap it around like a wand and notice I didn't change the attachment but when you flip it over the arrows are going away from your face on this side so just flip it over like a wand and start wrapping it then you're gonna turn it on and sometimes I like to hold the hair um, in case it doesn't like actually kind of like attach to the wand I dried it for a little bit and sometimes if I have extra time, I will do the cool setting just to set it in place. So I'm gonna do that and the cool setting is just right here on the front handle. So I'm gonna turn it on and turn on that cool setting. Okay, so I'm turning it off and then it's just going to fall into my hand like this. Hold that curl and we are going to set it with a clip. So just clip it to your head like that. If you didn't want to go through the trouble of setting your whole head in these little pins, I recommend to at least do the bottom of your hair because I feel like those pieces of my hair definitely fall the fastest. Mm -hmm. 
These can get really hot, so be careful when you're exchanging them for a new attachment, but we're gonna put on the other side of the Dyson curler, and we're gonna do this side because these arrows are facing away from my face. I just finished the bottom half of my hair, and now it is time for the top. Pretty much same deal on the top half, but sometimes I like to like flip it over while I am curling it and kind of like pull towards the front of my face. I'll show you guys what I do, um, but this just kind of like makes it really voluminous at the roots. set the top of my half as well. Now for the round brush attachment, we're going to do the front bangs. I like to brush my bangs together and then we'll be going under, wrapping them and kind of pulling them down, wrapping them back up, pulling them back down, wrapping them back up. And this is going to give you such good volume, it's going to be amazing. Now I just like to hold it on the barrel and just kind of do the same thing while it's not too hot. I mean, you can do the cool setting too, but I just like to. Hold it on and then we're gonna take it out very slowly and look at this bounce. Like, are you kidding me? It is so good and you just like part your hair like that. It's so pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna take out the clips. Probably start on the bottom first since they've been sitting for so long. Look how pretty and bouncy. It's so good. All the clips are out on this side. Oh, never mind. Okay, now they're all out. Look how bouncy and voluminous. I'm obsessed. From here, you have two options. You can either kind of like brush it out with your fingers, flip your head over once or twice, like then it looks like so crazy voluminous. But if you don't do that, I swear it lasts like a lot longer. Um, and obviously it still falls, but like, the next morning it just looks like you got a blowout the night before and it looks beautiful and still like a little bit voluminous and you know still kind of has like those curls in it not like this crazy though um so it does fall i don't use hairspray because i feel like that would like weigh it down since i already have such thick hair if i was going to an event like right now and i didn't want it to look this crazy curly i would do the whole like flipping over my head a couple of times and then i use this product right here it's the way matte pomade basically you just scoop it on your hand warm it up and like kind of like spread it around your hand and then what you can do is kind of just like go like this almost like you're like air drying your hair with a towel but just with your hands and it gives you like really nice volume and it kind of just like softens the curls a little bit so i definitely recommend that product i use that one a lot especially when i'm just doing like regular wand curls because those are kind of a lot more tighter than these curls are but that is how I do my hair with the Dyson Airwrap. It is definitely a big investment and it's not cheap, but it is worth the price. Like I personally think so because I can literally just bring this and a couple of attachments and be able to straighten my hair, blow dry my hair, like just like a really nice blowout or I could curl my hair. It has the ability to do so much and it's a lot healthier for your hair. In the past year, I feel like the Dyson Airwrap has sold out so many freaking times. So I'm gonna link it down below, but I'm gonna link it on a couple different sites just in case it's sold out anywhere when you're watching this video. So definitely go visit those links if you guys are interested in getting the Dyson Airwrap for yourself. And if you guys are not already following me on Instagram and TikTok, go ahead and do so. It's the same username. So 
underscore gnarly without the G. And I feel like I've done a lot of hair videos, Dyson Airwrap videos. I have like playlists on my TikTok and there's definitely one for hair. So if you guys are interested in seeing more about that, you can check that out and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.